Welcome to Vocabulary TV. This is our 27th video lesson on roots, prefixes and suffixes in English vocabulary. The theme for this video is the Latin root ver or very which means truth and several words and phrases as seen hanging on the tree branches can be easily memorized using this root connection. The root ver itself is easily recalled through the word very. For when something is very good, it is truly good. And in this video lesson, we are going to take a very or truly close look at the various words that can be derived from this very cool root. Well, this very word acts as an adjective or an adverb depending on what it qualifies and is used for emphasis. If I say they are the very best of friends, very is an adverb here because it qualifies the adjective best. However, if it qualifies a noun, it would be an adjective. For example, in this sentence, This was the very book I was looking for. Very here emphasizes the fact that this was precisely the object that I was looking for. And now that I have got this book, I am going to read each word till the very end of it. Here, very would emphasize an extreme point in time or space. After very, Two words that are the most popular ones based on the root are veracity and veracious. Well, veracity is a noun and to put it simply, stands for the quality of being truthful. Be it habitual truthfulness or truthfulness at a particular instance when you conform to facts and are accurate. For instance, before choosing a candidate to vote for, voters should consider his veracity and character. The related adjective is veracious and a veracious person is one who speaks or represents the truth. Though we can also use the word as follows. Nowadays, media can hardly be trusted to give a veracious and unbiased account of any incident. Next word is aware which is made up of prefix at meaning to or towards and where meaning truth. When you are aware, you declare or confirm that something is true and you are very confident in pleading your cause that you are speaking the truth. Like look at this female who allegedly knocked down a man while driving. Trying to prove her a liar, the advocate repeatedly questioned her veracity and we just learned this word. The woman however averred or stated confidently that she was innocent. Then we have the word verify, which means to make sure or demonstrate that something is true, accurate or justified. Verification would be the related noun. An example for both words would be, It is difficult to verify the backgrounds and testimonies of the witnesses and even the evidence submitted. Authorized experts are called upon for verification of evidence such as videotapes, blood samples, autopsy reports, etc. Despite all this, a court case may ultimately be unverifiable or cannot be made true simply because all the facts may not have been brought to light. In such cases, for the lack of evidence and reliable witnesses, the verdict gets tainted. It is no wonder then that people question the veracity or truthfulness of such court proceedings, especially when one hears of cases when a guilty walks free and an innocent serves a term in jail. Well, verdict is our next word which literally means a true speak and we mostly come across this word when the final decision on a court case is referred to. However, in a similar meaning, it can even be used outside of the legal context as in this sentence. The critic's verdict about the movie was positive. Next word is veritable, which is again a very important and common one. Like the word very, veritable is again an adjective used to emphasize and stress upon the fact that something is actual or true and is not false or imaginary. The beauty of this word is the fact that it mostly qualifies a metaphor. Consider for example this sentence. I was shocked to see that even for the post of a clerk, which is supposedly a low profile and low salary job, 
a veritable swarm of graduates had turned up for the interview. Now swarm mostly refers to a swarm of bees. We use swarm for graduates instead, which would imply a huge number of graduates and qualify it with the word veritable. Here we could very well have used the phrase a huge crowd of applicants had turned up. But as you can guess, the impact would not be the same. Next, we have the word very similitude, again very common in English. And if you break the word apart, it literally means the state or quality of being like truth. Very similitude is the appearance of being true or real. And it's a noun. An example would be, the detail with which video editing is done nowadays gives movies such as Life of Pi a high degree of very similitude. Another one, the wax statues of celebrities at Madame Tussauds are remarkable for their very similitude. And towards the end of this video, we have the word verity. Verity is the quality of being true or real. Verity is also used for a lasting truth or principle, especially in enduring religious or ethical truth. For example, love, honor, patriotism, life and death are some of the eternal verities of life. Veracity, on the other hand, if I must bring out the contrast, stands for the truthfulness of a person or a statement. Finally, we have verism, which is very much like realism and refers to the artistic use of contemporary everyday material in preference to the heroic or the legendary. We will end on the note of a very popular quote in Latin, which often gets tossed around in conversations and so it is well worth knowing. In vino veritas. This quote is from Pliny the Elder meaning, in wine there is the truth. If you're old enough to drink or have been around others who like to drink, I guess you're already familiar with the wisdom behind this quote that implies that under the influence of alcohol, a person tells the truth. Now test your understanding of the words learnt in this lesson by filling in the blanks below. It is recommended that you pause the video when the timer starts. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.